Samantha Bunce, a 21-year-old mom in Charlotte, North Carolina, was breastfeeding her four-month-old son when intruders kicked in her front door. With her husband at work, she took steps to protect herself and her baby by putting him out of sight and grabbing a gun. Running toward the door to keep them away from her child, she was met with gunfire. But to the surprise of the intruders, she darted into the stairwell and began firing back, driving them from her home. Bunce was hit twice in the arm and the stomach. She was rushed to the hospital in critical condition and will require more than one surgery to repair the damage. But she and her son are alive because she was able to remain calm and to protect them both. As a combat medic with the North Carolina National Guard Reserve, her husband stated that her training allowed her to stay mentally focused and calm during what was a fight for her life. Several days later, one of the suspects turned himself in and was charged with attempted murder and felony breaking and entering. Police are still seeking the second intruder. During the same week, the Democratic Party sent out emails with President Obama referring to the misery caused by not having stricter controls on guns and urging support for his gun control agenda. I don't think the Bunce family would agree. Had she not been armed and able to fight back, Samantha Bunce and her son would merely have been two more statistics. To learn more about your Second Amendment rights and the latest assaults on the Second Amendment, plus what you can do to help, visit Gun Owners of America's website at www.gunowners.org.